Hey everyone, welcome to our Wildlife Wonders of Texas Nature Series. To kick things off, here are our top 10 ways to stay safe outdoors. Number one, stay hydrated. So the weather in Texas can be pretty extreme, but regardless of hot weather or even cooler weather, we have to make sure to take care of our bodies. That's right, Rudy. So the day before you head outside, be sure to hydrate properly. Being hydrated is the most important thing that you need to do. Water gives our bodies the ability to stay alert and be energized. In order for our bodies to function properly, water is a necessity. But how much water do you need? One way that I track how much water I need is by using this awesome website, and I'll leave the link in the description below. But if I'm going on a moderate, like, all-day hike, or if I'm kayaking for a few hours, I usually drink 24 ounces of water per hour, plus my normal daily intake. So stay hydrated all day, every single day, especially while you're outside enjoying the outdoors. Number two, plan your trip. So planning before your trip is also extremely important. You wanna make sure that you know the hours of operation, if there are any fees to get into the park, what kind of events they're holding, and also you wanna make sure that they offer the right outdoor recreational activities for you, such as kayaking, camping, biking, walking, or hiking trails. But that's not all. Be sure to plan what you will be doing and pick an activity that you can comfortably do. Don't choose a 10 mile hike when you've only done five mile hikes. Make sure to know your limits and the limits of whoever you're taking, including your dog, so that way everyone can stay safe. And here's a little bonus tip. If you're planning to take your dog on a walk with you, please, please, please be sure to always carry a bowl of fresh water for them. Dogs can easily, very easily suffer from dehydration and exhaustion, and it could be fatal. So know their limits too. Number three, check the weather. All right, before you go to the park, it's important to check the weather. Here in Texas, the weather can be really unpredictable and can change at any time. It can be sunny today and rainy tomorrow. So before you head out to the park, be sure you check that weather. So it's finally the day. You wake up, you're ready to go out to the park to explore nature and breathe in some fresh air. But before you go and start to get ready, you need to remember to... Number four, wear appropriate clothes. I'm filming in San Antonio, Texas, and the weather is pretty awesome if you love the warmth. We have hot summers and very mild winters. Spring and fall are warm and pleasant, but just watch out for that rain. In the summer months, wear light, breathable clothing while outdoors. Winters, you might have to bundle up pretty thick, but it's not too common to have to do here in San Antonio. Whereas spring and fall, you can wear a light jacket with some light and breathable clothing underneath, and you'll be fine. Basically, wear something comfortable and dress to the weather. If you're planning to hike off trail, be sure to wear a broken in pair of hiking boots, long socks, and jeans. If you're planning to do any paddling, be sure to wear appropriate water shoes, moisture wicking clothes, and also have a life jacket. For paved walks through a beautiful park or trail, be sure to wear your most comfortable pair of broken in sneakers. You can leave your fancy shoes at home for all those indoor events, not for exploring the outdoors. So once you have your comfortable clothes on, be sure to put your hat and your sunglasses on. Protect that beautiful face from harmful UV rays. Be sure to shade your whole head with a good hat and reduce eye strain by wearing your favorite pair of sunglasses. You're going to need those eyes to be sharp during your time with nature. All right, so you made it to the park. The very first thing that you should do as soon as you get out of your car is apply some sunscreen. Yes, make sure to apply sunscreen as soon as you get to the park and don't forget to let it dry. And remember, use a sunscreen with SPF 30 or greater and something that is water resistant for the best protection from harmful UV rays. Number seven, apply insect repellent. So once your sunscreen is dry, which should be about five to 10 minutes, be sure to apply an insect repellent that has DEET. There are lots of pests out there, such as mosquitoes, chiggers, and ticks that love to bite along the way. Bonus tip, 
be sure to bring your sunscreen and insect repellent with you. You should be reapplying regularly along your adventure. Number eight, know your limits. So you're out, you're enjoying the beauty of nature, but we're gonna say it over and over again, know your limits. Many times, even in urban parks, we can be isolated. So the last thing that we want is for something to happen and you put yourself in danger and not be able to find any help. Exactly. So if you enjoy doing a one mile trail, don't push yourself to do a five mile trail, especially in a hundred degree weather. Try doing a one mile, one and a half mile, even two mile trail. And don't force others to push their limits either, especially your four legged friends. Yep. So know your limits, stay hydrated, and if you start to feel lightheaded or dizzy, please stop and get some help. Number nine, don't rely on tech. Okay, so our next tip is to not rely on technology to find your way. In some areas, cell phone service can be limited and even phone directions can be inaccurate. It is best to find a trail map or even use nature landmarks to find your way. You can even leave sticks or stones to make your own directions. Now I love tech, I really, really do. In fact, I'll be doing a video on how I use tech to help me interact with nature. But that's not what we're trying to say. We encourage you to go out there, take photos, take videos, post wherever you want, but we just want you to be aware of your surroundings, open your eyes, and appreciate the beauty with your own eyes first, and then you can pull out your phone or your camera and enjoy the beauty of nature with that. Number 10, enjoy, appreciate, and respect nature. Okay, so last tip everyone. Always be sure to enjoy, appreciate, and respect nature. From the creeks, to the rivers, to the flowers, to the wildlife, to the people that you see along the way. Make sure to always respect them. So to ensure that our future generations can enjoy all the beauty that nature has to offer, we need to keep our parks clean and conserve our natural resources. Every day to us is Earth Day, so go outside and explore, and we'll see you guys in our next Nature Series video. What are some of your favorite outdoor activities? Let us know in the comments below.